Welcome back to the Art of Cerclage. In this video, we will place a McDonald cerclage on a model. The learning objectives for this video include reviewing the indications for and the steps to complete a McDonald cerclage, utilizing our model to demonstrate a McDonald cerclage. Let's recall the four indications for cerclage. They include history indicated, physical exam indicated, ultrasound indicated, and history of unsuccessful cerclage. The three indications on the left all have cerclages that are placed vaginally. The McDonald is a technique that can be used on these three indications to vaginally place a cerclage. In the last video, we reviewed the steps of the McDonald technique, which we will briefly revisit here. Important anatomic landmarks include anteriorly, the cervical vesicle junction and the bladder, posteriorly, the rectum. If we use a clock on the cervix to help us define locations, the cervical vessels are at three and nine o'clock. Let's review the purse string stitch. To start, insert the needle just lateral to 12 o'clock, as high as possible on the cervix, but avoiding the cervical vesicle junction. A ring forcep on the cervix can assist with positioning. The curved needle and turning motion from your wrist allow the needle to exit. This maneuver is repeated again at the 8, 5, and 2 o'clock positions. The knot is cinched down when the suture is pulled tightly to close the cervical os. It is important to evaluate the cerclage. An exam is conducted to ensure the cerclage is tight and that the internal cervical os cannot admit a fingertip. Now that we have reviewed the pertinent information, we can demonstrate the steps of the McDonald technique on the model. The ring forcep is applied to the anterior lip of the cervix. With outward retraction, the cervical vesical junction can be visualized. Downward traction exposes the area for proposed suture. The needle is inserted just lateral to 12 o'clock, as high as possible on the cervix, but avoiding the cervical vesicle junction. The needle is dexterously passed through around 10 o'clock. The tail of the suture is secured with a hemostat and placed on the patient's abdomen to prevent accidental pulling out of the suture. After repositioning the needle and elevating the cervix anteriorly with a ring forcep, the next suture inserts at 8 o'clock, avoiding the cervical vessels at 9 o'clock. The ring forcep can be repositioned to the posterior lip of the cervix for better traction for the next insertion site. Continue to travel around the posterior cervix entering this time at five o'clock using the same maneuver. Be mindful of the needle's exit as the cervical vessels are at three o'clock. Some surgeons prefer to backhand this suture. The last insertion site is at two o'clock, exiting near the initial insertion point. Cinch the knot tightly to secure the cerclage. With an exam, ensure that the internal cervical os is closed and cannot permit a fingertip. Finish tying the suture. Before cutting the suture, we like to leave a tail and tie an air knot for better identification when it's time for removal. Please see the demonstration in the cerclage removal video. In this demonstration, we use a green ethabon suture so the steps can be highlighted and visualized easily. As we previously mentioned, the suture material used during an actual cerclage placement is based on surgeon preference. However, there are some important things to remember about mersaline. We will highlight them as we watch mersaline being used. We will not be verbalizing the other steps of a cerclage to allow you to review them silently while watching. Mersaline must be well lubricated prior to suture placement on the cervix. This decreases friction and tears on the cervix from the wide suture.
Another salient point is that Mersley needs to be laid flat, as demonstrated with the use of a pickup. This positions the suture as wide as possible and increases its durability. Lastly, it's hard to make an air knot with Mersaline. We recommend tagging it with a proline knot to assist with removal later on in the pregnancy. This concludes the demonstration portion of this video. The McDonald technique can be used to place a vaginal cerclage for history, physical exam, and ultrasound indications. Now that we've demonstrated the technique, it's important to practice and get feedback from your colleagues and supervisors. We hope this video was helpful. In our next video, we will focus on physical exam indicated cerclage by reviewing steps and demonstrating on a model.